Y'all want to know what's going on with Keish, honey. And I do too, honey, because I was scared when I had seen the headlines and seen her on the T's clocked and T's unlocked and everybody's rocked. Honey, I was like, oh no, honey, what is going on with Keish? Honey, we got to see what is going on with my good sis, Keish. Child, y'all know Keish, right? Y'all remember Keish, honey? Um, I had to bust you in your top lip. How'd the song go? So too long, I had to bust you in your... Y'all know that's my song. Y'all know that that is my song, and I can't even find the tea. You bust too long, I'm a... If you talk too much, I'm a bust you in your top... I pull up to the spot looking red. I got them hot keys. Swabber all the way to the ground. They won't be out. Got their face round up looking fair. I got the clap. Run your body straight up to the pit. It ain't no drop. You know the hoes need to be to go up. Yeah, y'all know this song. Remember, I was telling y'all how um they was confusing Keish for for Jeff this, for for Jeff's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yes, Keish, that's my girl. Come on, Keish, twerking in the, in the cat suit for it. Come out, I'm in the shape, I'm like Keish, I'm finna show out, on, I'm finna show out, on. And they gon' fuck around and every me. Carry me out, man, hoes, man, hoes. I ain't worried about you, bitch, man, hoes, man, hoes. But you ain't gon' do shit, man, hoes, man, hoes. Man, hoes, man, hoes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep talking out the mouth. Gonna have the ice that top lip. Keep talking out the mouth. Gonna have the ice that top lip. Honey, well, child, let's get into um what what Keish what Keish got going what 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 Keish got going on, honey. Child, honey. They said Keish then pulled a Jasmine Sullivan and then busted windows out cars and stuff. Ch houses, houses, other people, residents, honey, where they live and stuff. They said Keish. Child, no, I don't know if Keisha was on the stuff. Because mm -mm. we have all the bricks. All the bricks. Uh, and we also got her on the yeah. ring camera doing it. Yes. Now, I and him got the ring camera. They can show you the videos. I couldn't believe that she was that, like, that, she was really angry. She felt the way she felt and came over here. And took out all our windows. It was an attack on it's like a, it was like a mass attack on our whole like the White House, bitch. We need listen. If you want to see these windows, send something because I promise you, it's like first off, the house is big. You already tell it's a big establishment, bitch. When you see that the windows go all the way in a row like this, you gonna go ahead. Send Double sided window, which means we have to get this side and that side. The yes. outside and inside. The outside and inside. But meanwhile, my daughter said they in here breaking in and ain't nobody breaking in the whole time. The windows is being busted. She tore this bitch down. I, I love my girl. I can't. I, I it says somebody somebody is breaking in. Somebody is breaking in. Somebody is breaking in. Somebody is breaking glass in here. And bitch. And that's my child. She's 12. Oh. And I went on straight bullshit about my baby. We ain't going on, on what you did about I feel like she should have started busting out the house when mm -hmm. we was in. Mm -hmm. Why come here? Mm -hmm. yeah. She should have started over there. Now, if she would have got both houses, I would have been like, bitch, you ate that up. You <laughs> came straight over here. You know, I love her. We spoke. I'm Keisha is busting windows out of people's house. And apparently, whatever happened didn't even happen at the house where she busted. Lord, let me let the Butch Queen finish. Hey, baby. Uh, shout out to the Butch Queen Miracle. Yeah. She called to watch you and talk to you. She did? Yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. She, when she called me, she was crying. So let me she see she was crying. The whole time she was busting out the windows, crying. She knew. Y'all got me living a dangerous life. I am a rapper. I don't do all of it. I'm cocktail around here, too. I know she's rapping. You're supposed to do all the feature or something. That she don't want to do no feature with me. Because somebody done took stuff for her. And I'm cool on her because she's busting windows and shit. Um, so did you see the video of Akasha doing that to your house? I ain't need to see her. My daughter don't lie on nobody. She know Akasha. I is. know, but I'm just saying. Did and you? And it's actually on the camera. And my friend don't lie either. He says he saw. Big I don't want to be. I don't want to be a part of drama, but it is. She is on the camera, and she parked over to the to the. If you turn my way, the left somewhere. If you turn this way, it's over to the right. And it's a fool. She parked over to the left. Well, we gotta take me before I the equation because she's saying me and Rafael don't lie on nobody. Right. I know, but I'm just saying. Did you see the video? Well, we gotta take me before I the equation because she said Miracle did not have nothing to do with it. And even if everybody's saying Ira stole the money, if Ira stole the money, why would Ira then stash the wallet? And motherfucking Marcus's jacket, and then knowing that Keith is gonna find it in Marcus's jacket, and then Ira and uh, Marcus is gonna have to do her because that's his son. Duh. Does that make any sense? She definitely was gonna get done. I don't give a fuck. It didn't have. It, I don't give a fuck if she would have put her hands or stabbed or did anything to anybody. Everybody in there was gonna beat her motherfucking ass. 
you cannot pinpoint it's 20 bitches, it's 20 bitches there. It's people there that keep showing me no. That was my problem with her. Well, I, I allow you to come up to me, to frisk me, to grab on my dick, to grab on my ass because I fuck. Oh my lord. Well, this is Ivra. This is Ivra. This is uh somebody who is close to Miracle. I don't want to get lying about what their relationship is. But um yeah, this is Ivra speaking now. With you, and I thought you was teaching. You wasn't shaking nothing. You wasn't rattling the fuck ass thing, my nigga. We literally, everybody literally jumped up and stopped this lady from attacking Marcus and telling her like, bitch. Yeah, because he was like, about oh, Marcus in another way. With a, like, and then oh, okay, okay. So we know that Keish didn't bust the windows out of somebody's house apartment. Now let's hear uh, Keish's side of the story. So I go hang out with you know, some guy friends that I call friends that I be around. We've been around each other. We have went out of town together, link on the daily, talk on the phone every day, all that. We do all those things, y'all. So I thought these people was a friend of mine, okay? And y'all have to listen to this story clearly and listen, okay? So I have these people in my head is a friend of mine. So we gonna start there, cause first of all, girl, I'm so here. Hold on. So first of all, I don't even go around people like like. I ain't even trying to be funny, Keish, but you really did look like Jess Hilarious. Um, your crying face. Okay, like if you know me, you know I don't even really go around people like groups of people be around people. I have so many people in my personal space. That's for starters. I don't really even do that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's so that's my first mistake. Like being around people and trusting them and fucking with people and like letting my guard down a little bit, but not completely. So no, I'm so fucking bad now. Cause I could I really could have been in prison. I could have been in prison right now. Cause I snapped out. I could really be in prison, y'all. But it's the fact that how people will try to, when people will do something to you and then try to play like you crazy because they know that they did it wrong. Y'all, that's so hurtful, though. And then I'm already going through shit like my own personal shit, like trying to get okay, like with the shit that my daddy just died and shit like that. But it's not even about that. Like I said, y'all, this life is not a guilt. It's nothing for sympathy. Like, I'm just being honest and being transparent. Because I know that these people is messy. And they going around spreading lies and trying to make like I'm crazy. Or I like just did something wrong to them. Now, I do have some wrong parts in this. I do have some wrong parts in this that I can admit that I did something that is wrong. But I didn't start it. I didn't start it wrong. Like, I did it. Y'all, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this shit. So, Hold on. Girl, I'm gaggy, bitch. I am really, really gaggy. So, my first thing of being wrong is having cash on me, which is not completely wrong, but that's what people are trying to make. Like, oh, you wrong. You shouldn't have money on you. Da, 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 da. But if you're around people that you fuck with, and you fuck with like that, that's not something that you tend to happen, even though. I do know people is messy and it's a messy world. People is shisty. I do know that. That people will steal from anybody. I know that, y'all. I can own that part. And I had my stuff on me the whole time. I had my rent money in my purse because I was out late and I was going to go to the bank to put my money on there because it was a Sunday. I mean, it was going to be a Sunday to pay my rent for the third. So we go to the first Adamo house. We had the first Adamo house cooking. We chilling. We eating. We vibing. Whatever. Miracle on live on Bingo. Boom. So Bingo see partial of this yesterday. Um, um, and like we just chatting, key and cooking and shit. So in the midst of that, we drinking, um, playing playing cards, vibing. I'm like doing me too. You know, but most of the time I have my purse on me. At one time, I end up having my purse down playing cards. I'm playing cards right here. My purse is right here. But I'm not thinking that the bitch is that swift and bold to play that while I'm like right here. Boom. Boom. My official wallet is in my purse. 
I have my wallet in my purse. My wallet is always in my purse because I always have my wallet. I always have my things on me. That's something that I do. I have my money on me and I be having cash on me in my wallet because that's how I am. If you don't come and like literally get my stuff with a gun at gunpoint, I don't be thinking that the bitches fit to play those type of games on my time for real on fathers. You can't like literally take my stuff from me would be rightfully known. You get what I'm saying? And I have cash on me. I'm that type of person. I don't have everything like on a card. Boom. Hold on. Give me a second. Because I'm not playing that this game, right? Give me a second, boo. How do you block people? No. Not playing with no messy um little things right now. Give me a second, baby. No man. Back to the story. So boom. <clears throat> so, um, I'm at the house. Get get off this. I don't want this thing on. So, girl, we um at the house. I'm cooking and shit. And in the midst of me playing cards or whatever, um, uh, that's when they did it. Got my, um, snatched my water out my purse. And when they took it, and when they took, yeah, caught me slipping. Yes, they did. Um, took the water out my purse. Took all my money out my purse. And they had the whole wallet completely. Because when I finally got up from the game, they had the one game. I, um, grabbed my purse. Boom. So when I grabbed my purse, I noticed that my wallet out in there. So I text the head friend, like the main friend, the friend I'm closest with. Even though I'm cordial and cool and good and close with another one as well, the head person that I'm mainly close with is who I answer the text. Boom. My wallet is out my purse. So they like, <gasps> so I'm like, yeah. I didn't, excuse me, I didn't scream it out to the room instantly. So that everybody can go into a, a frantic and a panic. You get what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't instantly scream it out so everybody could start like being aware. But let me tell you how rooms move and how people messy and they don't play. When the room noticed that I was in a slight frantic because my energy changed and I started to walk around. The reason of me walking around is because now I'm looking for my wallet after I actually finally realized that it's gone. Now I'm looking for it through the house. That's what I'm doing. Before I announced it to the group and like start spazzing on everybody, I just tell one person and I start looking. When I tell him, he starts showing the other people the text. That's his way of um letting people know. What's going on? He started showing him the text. I text my wallet missing. So I see everybody at his phone, like, and they all like, <gasps> really happy. Everybody acting confused. Boom. So I go to look around the house. I go to look around the house. Boom. I'm flipping stuff over and shit. Granted, I'm in somebody else's house who I just met through them. Okay? And I can take my accountability of being wrong, but I'm not just. Searching your house for no reason. I am searching your house because $2,000 is out of my wallet. What I know I had for sure with the person that I initially came here with through a starter of even being in this group in the first place. Know for a fact that I had in my wallet. Okay? So that's first. So I I'm flipping over the couches. I'm looking through stuff because when people put your knife. I grab a butcher knife and I say it's about to get crazy in here because I'm going to start fucking shit up. So I got a butcher knife and I'm going up to people and I'm tapping their pockets and I'm saying, y'all got my shit where my shit at. So everybody like, oh, I only, I only got what I came here with. I ain't, I ain't been nowhere. You had your purse the whole time. Now they're trying to play like I'm delusional. Okay. So, boom. I'm looking through stuff. I'm looking through stuff. In the midst of me looking through stuff. And when I go into like the rooms and shit, because mind you, the house has got two levels, but it's big. And it's got like spaces and shit. You can hide shit. And being that I've been downstairs the whole time. I've been downstairs the whole time. I went upstairs once. How the fuck when I find my wallet is upstairs. And I've been downstairs the whole time. Wait. So in the midst of me having a knife and like asking people like, let me check that my money missing. People playing me crazy like, ah. Out. Maybe you never had your wallet. So it's me in the house, Ira in the house, Marcus in the house, the boy Damo, Miracle, Miracle Sister, um, two other boys that's at the that, that never left my periphery. And then, yeah. So 
I got the knife and I'm checking shit and I'm moving shit, looking around, looking under the couches and shit. I am like flipping over the couches in the living room. I went into the room and I looked into the drawer. You know how people would get stuck and stash shit like, let me steal this but put it up and don't have it on me for when they start checking. That's the smart stealer. So I'm checking people and shit, looking for my shit. When I go into the drawer, I see that the man have a gun. I was already in panic, frantic, lose control mode. So I put the gun in my purse. So I put the gun in my purse. So now the owner of the house, I have his gun in my purse. Because what's in my mind is if they don't give my money, I'm going to go in front of this house and I'm going to let this bitch off. I'm going to shoot through this bitch. Since I well, apparently we got ratchets involved. Child, I thought it only took a brick to bust out windows, but somehow we didn't got the ratchet involved. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I know I must forget that foot was on my mind. So now I got your gun in my purse. So in the midst of me having his gun in my purse, as I'm standing like, you want my shit, y'all? Where my shit? Where my motherfucking arm? Um, where my money at? My money at? Checking him. Now he's pressing me because he realized that his gun is missing. So now I'm playing delusional. I don't know where your gun at, but I got my purse, like, clutch, but, like, said like, where my money at, y'all? I'm telling y'all, this shit about to get crazy. Where my motherfucking money at? So he realized that I got his gun. So now he like, where my gun? Where my gun? I'm like, I don't know. They still in this bitch, so you better go check around like I'm doing. I'm snapping on him like, I don't know where your gun at, but the whole time I know I got his gun in my purse. Because I'm finna start letting this bitch off in this bitch, in the front of this bitch. I'm finna bust that y'all fuck ass. You sissy bitches want to play with me. So boom, he realized I got the gun. Now he following me around like, where my gun? Where my gun? Where my gun? I'm saying like, oh, I don't got it. Oh no, I don't got it. So I take um, I take Ivory Keys and I go check his car. I go start checking cars. So I'm going to the car, looking under the seat, looking in the back, looking in the trunk and shit because people be stealing. So I said he got the gun in my purse. So he like, where my gun? Where my gun? Hell nah, this bitch got my gun. I'm like, I don't got your gun. I don't got your gun. I'm playing delusional like them. I don't got your gun, boo. So he fucked around and like, grabbed my purse and fit it in my purse. He fit the gun in my purse. Boom. Once he feel the person, my, the gun in my purse, he like, she got my gun, y'all. She got my gun. And I'm like, no, I don't. Said to pull it back. He's stronger than me. He ended up snatching it and pulling the gun out. He's like, oh, you do got my gun. Boom. I'm like, oh. oh okay. Cool. Boom. So he steps towards I say, now y'all know it's about to go down. Y'all know it's about to go down. So when he get the gun, he like, yeah, ho, get the fuck out of my house. That's the only reason. That's the only way I left. That's the only way I left because he had done got the gun back and I was definitely was for the start. I was definitely for the use it. So thank you, Jesus, that he was able to get the gun back because I was going to be in prison. Because in the heat of anger and me snapping out, I don't give a fuck. Y'all done took everything from me. I called y'all my friends and be too already been having an attitude since I said the money was missing. The owner of the house instantly got an attitude when I said the money was missing too. And then when, the, when one of the people realized that the money was missing, they like, you know how somebody like try to press you? Like I'm in the hookah area and you know how my facial expression changed. Now I'm walking around looking for shit and shit. So I came and stood in front of me like, like bracing himself in front of me. And I bowled him. Boom. Bitch, I move. Like, letting the bitch know I'm not playing. So he like, girl, like, steady like kids type shit. So I'm like, okay, boom. Once this bitch realized that I, um, had the gun when he get his gun back, he like, get the fuck out my motherfucking house. And get the fuck out my motherfucking house. So I'm like, oh, okay. All right. So I go to my truck. Boom, I crank it up. I crank it up. I'm so distraught and mad. I'm crying. I'm like, wow. I'm about to, like, go over into a ditch. I'm about to go into a motherfucking ditch, girl. About to kill myself. I'm so in a frantic, mad as hell. So I'm like, girl, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That is crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy as fuck. So I go to the location. Because I'm, I'm belligerent and, and, and off the chain and in my mind, I'm, lo I'm losing it. So I go to the location. 
And this is where my wrong doing again. But no, not really. Because somebody got to do something. And y'all don't play to suit everything for me. And I'm going to get put out. Because now I don't have my rent money because y'all don't suit that for me. A bitch already out here barely making it as is. Y'all don't suit all my motherfucking shit from me. So somebody need to pay something. Somebody needs to do something. So on my way up losing, I, I went and found the brick, busted it, boom. And I did something bad. I can say that. I say the consequence for that. But somebody need to pay for something. I'm not just going home, going to sleep. So that came over here and kicked in my neighbor's door. They came over here and kicked in my neighbor's door. Keep my neighbor. Honey, Keish, Keish said she did something bad. Why is this sad like that? Why is this sad? I, I did something bad. Lord, honey. Pray that Keish don't go to jail, honey. But this is essentially Keish's side, side of the story. And also, don't forget that um, Keisha said that Ira and Miracle and them had came to bust her door down and ended up busting down the neighbor. Lord. Child. They say they got me on camera busting out their windows. So what Iris said was Keish was walking around. She was passing out pills. Here, you get a pill. You get a pill. You get a pill with a shot. So maybe not Oprah Winfrey with the pills and the shot. Maybe she could have dropped it. You get what I'm saying? But we trying to figure out how did the wallet get into Marcus's jacket if he was upstairs in the room sleep? It was underneath his, no, he wasn't, he was in the living room on a couch sleep the whole time. And she found her wallet, before she said anything to anybody, she found, she was already looking for her wallet. I never knew nothing about, when she was checking me, I never knew she was serious. I never, nobody never said anything like um, her money missing, none of that shit was ever said. I didn't know until after the fact, after she checked me, but she was like, room. yeah, I went up, she was like, went upstairs and she was like, this cold. And my wallet was underneath it. So she was like, who shit is this? Marcus was like, Keish, this is this is my um my thing. So Keish like, oh yep, let's go, let's go. She pulls the knife out. So everybody, it's people there. She named what six of us? It was like 18 of us there. We all downstairs in the living room. She didn't name hella people, people that she don't know. She don't fuck with my friends. My friends don't fuck with her. I invited her over there around my people. So okay. with that, that boy been upstairs the whole time. We all been down here party, chopping shit, drinking, taking shots, playing cards, playing games and shit. Right. The owner like all that food easy ass weird ass right. shit. Like we don't, right. we don't. He like all this, all, that, all this food easy ass shit. Like she was like went upstairs and she was like this cold and my wallet was underneath it. So she was like, who shit is this? Marcus like, Keish, this is this is my um my thing. So Keish like, oh yep, let's go, let's go. She pulls the knife out. So everybody. It's people there. She named what six of us. It was like eighteen of us there. We all downstairs in the living room. She didn't name hella people. People that she don't know. She don't fuck with my friends. My friends don't fuck with her. I invited her over there around my people. This has been this is like being said. But in the meantime, she after she left him after the air right saying no 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 not Marcus but whatever. She like okay. She like well bitch. She like um then you take you pull your shit out. You know what I'm saying? You, let me search you. You pull your shit out. Well whatever. I never seen. She had the knife, whatever, but I never was even paying attention to the knife because I'm just thinking like, like whatever, like this is my girl, like whatever, it's not, it's not nothing like that. So I'm like, oh bitch, come frisky, frisky. She grabbed on my balls, grabbed on my ass, she put it on my, I have on, I have on sweatpants with no drawers on, I have on, on a fucking tank top. So, you know, she's doing all of that, well, whatever, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, I'm still thinking like it's all a kiki. And then she like, um, yeah, my motherfucking shit. She's like, yeah, so she's telling my, my piece to uh, drop his shit, to stand up. Mind you, I'm sitting down the whole time while she's touching on me and shit. Rubbing on my ass, touching on me and shit. I never stood up yet. I stood up when she went to my piece that was next to me. Like, yeah, um, like, you know, drop your shit, like, pull your shit. I'm like, so bitch, you serious? I'm like, you're not dropping a fuck ass thing. You don't even know none of it. <laughs> my best friend can't even convince my nigga to drop his shit, bitch. He not dropping his shit. So this is like when I'm saying, I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm literally standing up tennis. I'm like, so this is not a game. She's like, so I tell my motherfucking shit, da, da, da. She start popping her motherfucking shit. So I'm just like, well, Keith, you cannot 
tell everybody to strip down, my nigga. You cannot. Everybody's not about to strip down. You cannot do that. And I was like, bitch, you don't ever come at me like that again. I'm thinking you just can't. I would never steal from you. Me and her, that's not my girl like that.